Hello and welcome back. This is you Tea Time on Plus TV Channel 408. We've been talking about a lot of things in case you've missed it, but don't worry, we still, we've got a lot more in store. Next story on the line is a Nigerian journalist identified as Motolani recently got singer Tiwa Savage irritated with his article about her Celia album. Tiwa Savage has been reacted to this journalist and called Motolani, who wrote a music review about her. And she called him out on Twitter, basically. The highly anticipated album was released on August 27, 2020, and it was, was met with both positive and negative comments. Calling out Motolani, the singer stated that her brand is not struggling, adding that her son, who is not up to 10 years old, has bagged more money than him and his entire company combined. Tiwa Savage also reminded Motolani of the time he came to her house and after an interview, he begged her for a photo with her. And according to her, he is a fan using the effort and even now give him a kiss at the end of the, of the jab. We've talked about this conversation, of, of course. I don't know say celebrities they count when we take pictures with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one was I'm like, oh, so when I, mean, I take, take a picture with you, you, you have a fan. Mess up. Like, Honestly, I don't take pictures with. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Too. I don't. I saw when I went to when I went to what's it called? My friend, if she's watching the show, she she know I'm not lying. I, when we went to pick up plastic <laughs> on the weekend. Because we volunteer <coughs> to Wait. pick up plastic. Don't That's mind if I just ignore him. When we go out outside, <coughs> especially if I'm just meeting okay. you as a street, like I'm on the street, you're on the street, you don't know who I am or what I do. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, Davido. And Davido is, have you seen Davido in person? He's like a ball of fun, such energy. He's actually calm. He's not the one that's like raising up his nose or whatever. I just went, we had the conversation. He said to me, he was like, oh, are you not coming to the beach pass? I said, no, please, we're doing plastic. Everyone else was like, okay, let's take a picture, let's take a picture. Everybody had pictures with Davido. I did not even offer. And I did that to the same thing with everybody else I've met. I'll have a conversation with you. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I love you or whatever. But to say, can I have a picture? Or um, more like it, it doesn't come naturally to me <laughs> at all, except you come into my crib, which is this table. Mm. You've sat down, <laughs> you're in my home. Give you I'm the one that's hosting you. Okay. The decent thing is take pictures afterwards, but no, the decent thing oh is God. for them to ask to take a picture with me. Come on, you came to my yard, you know. Do you understand? Okay, but I, I'm not the taking going. picture kind of person, so I, I, when I saw this one, I was like, that can never even be me because. Okay, it does not happen. before we go far, mm -hmm. imagine meeting Ariana Grande. You won't ask her to... Mm -mm. Let me tell you the uh -huh. one person I've taken a picture with, and she didn't even know, because I just saw her in my background, and I was even like, worse. please take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how important this person is to Ooh. me. Okay. It is more Abudu. That is the only Ooh. person. I lost words, but in terms of your singing... And you want me to be raising my energy and be misbehaving. Well, I've, I've only taken few uh, do. pictures with a few people, such as Hitler, George W. Bush, Donald as Trump. As a bad guy and, like um, you are. You know, I, I really don't ask for pictures. <laughs> I've asked those guys for pictures. <laughs> I've asked Tupac Shakur. I've asked mm. Biggie, Notorious mm. B.I.G. Mm. Beyonce. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson uh -huh. and the likes. You know, those are the people uh -huh. that, you know, I could ask for pictures with because I'm a star <laughs> myself, you know, talking about <laughs> now the star. Now we do, baby. Yeah, talking about the star man. I'm not a star boy, you feel me? Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Level Starman. series things, please. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. at the end of the day, let's focus on Tiwa. Let's focus okay. on the focus. On, on Tiwa mm. now. Let's bring it back home now. Okay. It's about Tiwa Savage. Is our career really struggling? Because it's a Motolani babe. Babe, right? Guy. Guy, sorry. Motolani. Motolani, yeah, okay. So, Motolani guy is, um, he has a, what's it called? Series of theories conspiracy mm -hmm. theories yeah, that he feels that are okay. fact okay. that he feels like but i see it like <clears throat> some of these things could just be happening and then she didn't see it that way obviously after the ot bills thing a lot of brands left to our savage mm -hmm. so yeah, there is no doubt about it that that ot bills thing affected our brand because mm -hmm. that was when things changed that was when she felt she had to rebrand that was when she exposed she had always exposed her body more but then she was even a mother a, 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 a with a strange and strange husband and all of that showing off her body with a whiskey tapping mm -hmm. and all that you know so there was a lot of controversies around it but 
Could that have been an healing process? People heal mm. differently. Do you understand? Could that be, have been a way of growing and warming up into back into people's hearts? Because a lot of people saw, uh, what's it called now, T. Bills as the guy who was betrayed, as the guy who was hurt, as the guy who managed the superstar and was dumped, and then you yeah. came out to grant an interview and lick the secret, <laughs> spoke about so many things that the third party shouldn't mm -hmm. know about. Do you understand? So a lot of people saw that. So could that have been a healing? She was backlashed a lot. A lot of women didn't like her anymore at that period. I know this for a fact because I know some women in my life that stopped listening to Tiwa Sabi. Because her husband had a drug because problem. Of that, no, no, not just that. No. But because of the whiskey thing. Okay. No, no, not okay. All of it together. Okay. The husband's story, her exposing her body, being on um, whiskey. Because from what I remember, that. her husband's story, everybody took her side until she made that video mm -hmm. with her head yeah. and stuff in a scarf, yeah. and it felt like yes, it was sir. dramatized. Yes, that no, was not the about the marriage and the failure, but it was about the perf what they felt like was like a performance. And then with Kids thing, when she became a video victim for somebody. <sighs> Apart from that, and the publicity stunt when she's on stage with whiskey and mm -hmm. is, you know, grabbing and all That's of that. That's why I'm very surprised that yeah. you mentioned conspiracy theory in the beginning of it because I don't think Omotola. Um, I said, okay, I said he had some theories, or should I say conspiracy theories? But what I'm saying, conspiracy theory, because some people may want to say, oh no, it's not true. Because he said some things that I felt like, okay, this person could honestly have thought this is the best move for me. Like, you're yes, which is what universal. he's saying. And he's saying that because you chose that, I think it's that he is criticizing her. But her we methods. also know how hard women have to work true. to succeed in this industry. It, we industry, know how yes. hard women have to prove themselves stay times relevant. and open mm -hmm. to stay mm -hmm. relevant you know how hard it is to be independent when this you conversation want... isn't about how how hard work this conversation is a basically it from what, what it should from be what, in my from opinion what, from, it's still what working hard enough criticizing her mm -hmm. album not yes, her efforts yes. and what she does for a living mm -hmm. and how she's overcoming her issues everybody does that There's, i don't think we need to Glorify to a savage for doing he life. He's a particular word so for, for me. He's making reference to he's making reference to Celia's album and, and the issue her response okay. to criticism. That's okay. what this is really about. Mm. He started off um, mm. comparing True. her I with um, what well. he called Jay Z, and yeah. that Jay Z, who is even a big deal, he got um, criticized and he just did the old shrug, like, okay, well, that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But to a savage, you cry, and then she would do the Mongo parking thing, which I think he actually mm. termed that that word, mm. which I found was actually brilliant. No, <laughs> no. But he termed that word basically saying that when Tiwa Savage sees that the local people, the Nigerians who understand her music, say, ah, we didn't really like this one. She'll not go and find a foreign person mm, that I barely knows it. anything about Afrobeat. And, and, and then I'll say, you see, okay. they see they no, like no, me. No. That's why, and you see people that don't like me. And then she'll not do the whole prophet thing. Gonna, That's what he's saying. You know, I'm going to agree with that because... Um, at the end of the day, this guy gave examples of when Bonner Boys Twice as Store was nominated yes, for Best R&B. Yeah, category that doesn't apply to you. Yeah, do you understand? Yes, like, they called her a rapper. Lot, they called her yeah, they called <laughs> like, when an did she MC. Ever rap? Do you understand? Okay. They've called and they've called it a lot of artists different genres that do a different genre. Okay. They put them in the category of that's another true. They genre. They don't understand. So African they don't even music. understand. Yeah. So I, I'm totally going to agree with that, but I don't think that's applicable to just Tiwa Savage. I think a lot yeah, of our this, celebrities yes, fair, take validation. This conversation is about Tiwa Savage. Yeah, yeah, and I her know. I'm guessing. To that. So it would be unfair to now say that we should make this thing broader into okay. that category because not a lot of people do t what Tiwa Savage does. And I okay, mentioned so this thing yesterday as well. I said I wish Elsie was on the table because uh, the reason why I keep mentioning Elsie is that she saw it first. I remember I used to think, what's your issue with Tiwa Savage? And Elsie would always say, I just feel like she's always um, emphasizing on the negative. There was one time it was women, which we talked about yesterday already. Yeah. So one time it was women, that women don't support her. I'm like, are you kidding? Yes, we do. So um, they, he has a point. To me, this guy said nothing wrong. There was no conspiracy theory in that thing. The problem I have with Motor Learning is how he said it. You don't need to rub somebody's name into the dust, into the mud. She didn't rub the prove... name, or she rubbed the person. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, if I'm go if I if you're gonna ask me who okay. jabbed who more, I would still Solani. say that Motolani yeah. finished to a savage. savage. Yes. The, it's too easy for you to use money and use it to bash a, a journalist. He's not trying to compare money with you. He's never said that he was rich. He's a journalist and he killed mm -hmm. it like with he his took words. His time exactly. And he searched I think and he's he researched. Been writing this. It was yeah, like, yeah. And that's the 
only thing I know that Tiwa Savage it. said that when she said you're a fan, I'm like, I have to agree because this yeah, thing was to too, to like, you took your time. You, you have, and he's been researching about her before today. Like, he brought up memories about things that, like, we have all forgotten. My guy brought him back to prove his point. He <laughs> killed it. But then you start using words like piggery. That her mm. image is that's an yes. insult. Mm -hmm. Like it th it's not a compliment. Yes. yes. And then when also when he was when he was trying to allude to the fact that foreigners don't understand Afro music, he said when when she when he said something like, Oh, they categorize her as rapper, and mm -hmm. there's nothing about her that's a rap that's a rapper except from the tattoo on her sleeve. Like, come yes, on now. And yes, then you yes, brought yes. in her husband personal. as well. Uh -huh. He kept emphasizing on her age. Mm -hmm. You can say her music was bad without putting her age mm -hmm. there. So in a, a 39 year old woman, like, like calm down. down. Her age even into this conversation. Do you understand? Yes, like yes. it's not necessary. But was he speeding facts? I think he was. I think the album was not good. I already mentioned this to you. People, you said yeah, you like it so. Me, yes. yeah, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, mm -mm, I just can felt. I, can I, can me, I, I feel like a album can I like a comeback, a song on the like album? showing people that she's not. Um, she can be diverse with music. Can I recommend she a song? She can create a new sound. Mm, because nice. you know the whole Celia thing. You said mm -hmm. your mom. I know. Look, yes. I, I don't know. That thing confused me. It was marketed in a way that didn't really align. It's like. Her, a good example would be Burner Boy. Like, the way he marketed that song. He marketed, first of all, he marketed that song to everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, he kept trying, even um, Made in Lagos, I think, did the same thing too. Like, mm -hmm. even the features. I'm not talking about Nigeria, or guys. Yeah. He was already screaming it from day one with the features. When you start mm -hmm. to get features from people abroad, you're saying, okay, it's a foreign vibe and all of that. So we're prepared for something you know, different. Tua Savage was doing my mother, my mother, Celia, Celia, I am Celia, I am Celia. Mm, yes, and then we get yes, on the yes. song, and you're talking about um, 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 senators. Like the team, um, team of the album does uh, not match with the songs, yes. yes I look on this live to suffer. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> how does that deal with um, paying um, reference to your mom? Mm, yes. uh, I, didn't get it. I think that's the only point I would agree with you right now. Mm. Like, the message does not match the songs. But the album was nice. It was amazing. Let me recommend a song on the album. Maybe we'll change your mind. Oh Silly song. God. Okay. It's a good song, guys. I'll listen to that song on this break. <laughs> Please do stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like God DM sometimes from Malawi. Like. Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> <laughs> 